I wanted the back cover, which is Little Mariah. Um, this is a story I tell about this day. I tell it in the book. I prefer that part, it's not there, but I know we need that. Um, hot dog, baby beach. It's the first time my hair was ever combed through and looked presentable. But what happens here on the spine is that this hair is connected to my little girl hair. And so they're intertwined. And I thought that was symbolic. I really do hope you guys like it. This is, I don't even know how to express it without getting too emotional. And, um, I use language and literature as a way to orchestrate a framework to think and inquire about American life, including the legacy of American violence. My name is Ocean Vuong, and I'm a poet and writer. I grew up surrounded by Vietnamese refugee women who use stories to create portals. The story is a virtual reality into another world, out of the present. But it's also a record of where we've been. And a story is an inheritance. Nice Guy with Exit Wounds was a series of poems that attempts to cast a separate mythology out of geopolitical violence. And I used elders and predecessors like Homer and a lot of the Greek classical texts and recast them in the guise and the gaze of Vietnamese American life in the aftermath of the Vietnam War. One of the central questions in On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous having been written as a letter to a mother who'll never read it, is ultimately, does language matter? Is it worth it to speak your mind and your truth in fiction or otherwise? If an audience, even if it is an audience of one, is never promised, does it matter? Often we demand of the American novel to be cohesive, a monolithic statement of a generation but having grown up post 9-11, cohesion was not part of my generation's imagination, nor our language or our self-identity. And I felt that if I were to write my version of an American novel, it would have to look more like fragmentation. I'm Tui Nojio de Tola, and this is a countervailing theory. To countervail is to offset the effect of something by introducing another thing of equal force to counter it. It's an interesting framework for looking at the dynamics of power. I also think it works well for histories. Power derives much of its strengths from the stories we tell, so the activity of myth-making can be a means to help you ask difficult questions. What you'll experience in the curved gallery at the Barbican is a story told through multiple viewpoints geological, philosophical, and material. This is an investigation into mythology, and in doing so, it arrives at a place where a new kind of understanding can be introduced. You are experiencing an act, the acronym of the exhibition's title, A Countervailing Theory. <laughs>